team team game team smashed all all sorts of stuff so pretty exciting pretty fun to tune into mm -hmm. and it looks like we've already got a vote for who's gonna win haven't seen the team comps yet but we got one vote for the red red team Dang. all right sounds like we are in lobby now getting ready for picks and bands on the side of odu see what they are going to ban out here against the ECPI. So Zed, respect pick, uh, res respect ban for the Zed or Oof. Imagine we're going to see some bans towards Michael and Dead Falcons. Uh, can't let that back go. Can't yep. let they ban, ban the Fiora. Fiora. Really good ban for him. It's banning a lot in solo queue lately. Uh, Talon ban comes out, you know, water down, water down Zed, Zed right yep. there. Looks like you're just trying to pinch uh, Zedder Oof's champ pool. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of a lot of strange pocket picks as well. You know, he, yeah. he's, uh, in this tournament alone, he's played he's busted out the signature graves. He, he's played Nocturne mid. He's what else? Pantheon mid. Yeah. So looks like you're just trying to we're yeah. trying to pinch each other's uh, champ pools. Really interesting to see. You see, uh, Ribbons, Ribbons left to open, and so is uh, the Morgana, which is uh, two really big picks for the side of the ECB ITM. They also left open the uh, Olaf, which is really weird, because uh, Neil Platt Bazaar mainly only plays Olaf, uh, Nidalee, a couple other champions, but his main two are just Olaf and Nidalee. Yeah, he absolutely popped off uh, last, the last game. game? Yeah. Olaf, too. It was really nice. It seemed like the other team didn't know how to play around it. I can't believe they also left open the Aphelios. All right, there's the signature pick for Phoenix Fire coming through with the Morgana. Um, they, a lot of times they like to match up like the uh, a Heimerdinger with the Morgana or another mage. Um, they did ban out the Kate, which is something obviously Morgana Kate is super broken. Yeah. Then the Warwick coming through for the ECPI jungler. That's his, you know, his one trick, one trick champ, yeah. but. Uh, Decent at it. Brom coming through here, maybe. Brom locked in. Maybe you see the uh, Lucian Philios? pick again. Ophelios, okay. Yeah, his, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, but his Lucian pick last game didn't seem too hot. <laughs> yeah, it's just the, you know, the Brom Lucian, a pretty decent combo, but uh, Ophelios is super, super nasty champ right yeah. now. And uh, Kegmo, he's mainly a passive laner. He doesn't really try to like go for much in lane, he tries to play to scale. Because he's more of a team fighter than a laner. Good stuff. Well, Helios has got the range. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, the move. Misfortune Morgana. This is a pretty good combo in solo queue right now. So, yeah. I've never seen uh, I Still Love You bust out the Misfortune, but it's definitely a good combo. So, yeah. getting into the second round of bands now. Syndra, which is something Mix has been popping off on today. So, good, good band there just based on. How well he's been playing on it today. Yeah. He's been landing really good stuns. Our band coming through. We've seen. Uh, what? Who's, who's played this song? Oh, somebody played Nar earlier. Oh, yeah. Against yeah, the there's been, yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah. That would. Maybe. That was GM Pot? Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. There's been two Nars played uh, today. Yeah. Someone played it against Undead Falcons as uh, GP. Yeah. I think what I The Casio band. Which is really interesting. Uh, oh wait, there's a ban on this on, on that side. Yeah. Does anyone on the side of ODU play Cassio? Uh, Mix does. Mix uh, does play yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. He plays a lot of control mages. Nice. Okay. Okay. He can play a couple of assassins, but he's mainly a control mage player. Gotcha. And then the Camille ban coming out on the side of ECPI, so they're gonna leave the ribbon open, which I'm not sure if GM Pod would really pick it up. Sandra pick coming in. Mm -hmm. That's different. So not gonna be not gonna be an assassin, but I mean his three big, you know, early burst champs have been banned. Mm -hmm. Mordecai is going through. Okay. Let's see who the last pick's gonna be for red team. Walking in the trust on a mid. Alright, nice. So no control mage this game. He's gonna go off with that and then the Swain pick coming in. Swain into Mordekaiser, yeah. 
Oh no! Oh, he's hovering it. Is he gonna? He's oh, gonna he's bust going, it out. He's going the his, ribbon. Uh, his number one played champ and his favorite champ, GM Pod, busting out the ribbon. Uh, this is the first time uh, I think I've seen it in against uh, you know a higher higher Elo um, team that he's gonna be playing the ribbon into. So that's pretty exciting. So we'll we'll see what happens. I really don't know the matchup between Mordekaiser and Riven very well. I know Mordekaiser is super strong right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mordekaiser just wins that, unless so. like the Riven's like super good. So we will see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Undead Falcons has got his mouse problems sorted out. So it's a uh, yeah pretty. Uh, Hot Rod gave him his mouse yep. to borrow. So we will see. Okay, gonna. <laughs> All right, so look at the team comps. Um, once again, you see a lot of uh, just I don't know, you got them on a couple one trick chance. Well, not the GM pods a one trick, but got them on a lot of comfort picks. Uh, Phoenix Fire on his best pick in Morgana. Um, you know, uh, the Warwick coming out for the, for the Warwick one trick, and then GM pod on his favorite champ. Mm -hmm. So three really good comfort picks on on the side of ECPI. Uh, what do you think about your your ODU uh, uh, varsity team? It looks like they have a pretty good pick comp going on with the Mordekaiser, Olaf, Tristana. Uh, they'll, they'll mostly be trying to look for picks. Uh, well, uh, it looks like ECPI's team's mainly trying to look to team fight. I think that uh, the blue team has a really good split push thing they can go go with and go with a really good one three one. I agree. Really good stuff. You got uh, cleanse on the Tristana to deal with the Lissandra. And the uh, Warwick. Yeah, and the Warwick. Yeah, you're right. And then, of course, Morgana as well. So yeah, they have a lot of CC on the so team. Really, really good Those be trying Tristana. To be interested to see if uh, – I don't know if Lissandra is one of those champs that, you know, Tristana – what is it, level three where she's able to uh, really all in. It might be level two when she's got her W and her E. I'm not too, too sure about Tristana mid, but – yeah. Be able to shove lane, um, which is really good against Zetaruv because he's one of those players that, you know, he plays Talon and Zed. Yeah, and those he just wants can, to shove and yeah, yeah. roam. So that'll, that'll be uh, just with, with the, the passive on, on Tristana. She'll be able to hopefully shove him in, um, and we'll see if if that prevents uh, Zetaruv from roaming on this Lissandra pick. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, okay. Small pause when we get into game after the spectator delay. All right, good stuff. So based off of the team comps, you know, no bias because obviously that's, yeah. you know, your team. Uh, what, what what do you like? Uh, who, who do you think is going to take this one? Uh, I think it's really dependent on the early game and if the blue team can get a good snowball going on. Because if they can get a snowball going on, they have really good ways of uh, snowballing the map over and just taking over the entire game. But team fight wise, I feel like ECPI has a stronger team fight. So ECPI is going to really try to look for like just not ending in their lanes, trying to just get ahead through uh through just passively just trying to uh, lane. Well, uh, blue team's gonna be trying to look for more aggressive engages, trying to get more sh going on on the map. So, I'd probably give it to the blue side. I am a little bit biased, but I just think they have a better, uh, better laners. No, no, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. I think uh, the big, big point for me is if if this misfortune if, and um, Morgana Wombo combo in the bot lane, if if they're able to survive that and get Aphelios to where he just scales into that monster that he can be late game i think you know with with a braum all you know braum able to throw out his 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 uh stuns and all that good stuff or his slows um i really like the side the side of odu i think um they got a good good mix a lot of good damage um only only thing to worry about i think is if the mordekaiser does fall behind that's you know a, yeah. all your, a bunch of your, all your ap damage pretty much mm -hmm. um could be the only thing, but uh, Mordekaiser is so strong right now. I don't, I don't think that yeah. should be an issue and on is. a player like Michael. Uh, yeah, Michael's really good. Mm -hmm. But so, uh, the blue team does have, uh, or the red team has a Morgana, mm -hmm. which can uh, essentially just stop the Mordekaiser from ulting one person that he wants to ult. So they could be trying to look for like a, uh, trying to read the map, read in the future and predict who he's going to try to ult and protect them. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Then also you see on the side of uh, ECPI, they have 
one player without a skin, so they lose points for that one. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, no misfortune. All those got some. Everybody, um, everybody in the skin. game except for her. Yep, and she has so many great misfortune. Has so wait, many like skins. thirteen skins or something like yeah. that, and just got the prestige edition. I mean, come on. Yeah, but they just have one skin for her. She also opted in for inspiration, yep. which is. A little odd. Well, I guess it's, most people are picking it, but I feel like going for the sorcery tree is probably better for that lane. Because uh, that lane is mostly going to try to be ahead. Most of the time, I guess, to have more health. So she could opt into a. Uh, uh, I can't remember which one it is, but the one with like, the hands together and a little thing in the circle was like above oh, 70%. Oh, no, uh, the one that's like over 70% health, you'd get, you do more damage. Oh, uh, absolute focus. Absolute focus, yeah. BM here in the middle of the Tristana. I like it. So surprisingly today, we haven't seen hardly, at least the games on stream, any like real invades early game, which is uh. kind of different from what we see in this tournament usually. I know e ECPI usually likes to invade. Um, either they, they like to take the long routes from top side or, or, or bot side. They usually almost always invade, but... Every game today, they've gone for you know pretty standard, almost five point starts. Yeah, there was one really rough game where uh, ODU's uh, Kikumo's uh, invaded. It was one. Of the, it was like two games before this against one of the Seven Cities teams, and they got a quadra kill to start the game. <laughs> and then they just snowballed the lane and uh, the game and won in 17 minutes. Wow. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of rough. Yeah, I don't think that that one got put on stream. No. Unfortunately. Yeah. They like went for like a level one tower dive too after they like got after they got the triple kill they wanted more and put the dope mid. So this is a little different start than we've seen from PCPI. Typically they've been starting uh, the warp's been starting uh, on the opposite side of their bot lane and their bot lane's been able to get the shove early, but uh, in this game uh, actually bot lane's getting the leash there. Yeah. So that means that the uh, jungler's gonna be trying to look to play towards top side because. Usually you start the camp on the opposite side of the map that he's going to be wanting to play for. So he's going to be trying to get the Riven a lead. Let's see the Warp's going to do all three camps on the bot side. Not just doing the uh, blue buff and transitioning to top yeah. side. So yeah. we're going to do this from the bot side camp. Uh, he's going to go for the standard full clear. Just like the Oloth. That was a really nice time stun. Oh, did we get the second pass of off on, on the board as well? Oh, it's looking a little rough up here tonight. But down here, it's looking like Kegma and him are just destroying. Can of force the heal out of the, the misfortune and also the flash from Phoenix Fire. Did burn the. Uh, an early recall. Yeah. He's getting abused up there on top of See Warwick, he's, he's got his passive. He's, he's smelling the blood. Warwick's looking for something. It's Warwick and Olaf might run into each other here in the top side jungle. I think it's pretty even for who wins this, but I'd probably give the edge to Olaf. Just because Olaf. Uh, he has more life steal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Warwick definitely. Trading flashes there. It's pretty worth help out the top lane quite a bit. And this is actually going to allow the Olaf to guarantee this top side scuttle crab and then maybe even be able to transition into the level scuttle. Conqueror proc on the side of Riven, but he's going to back off. Because yeah, if he would have stayed in there, they would have just sealed the Mordecai. He's just getting good play off. Try to put on his cooldowns. Try it right here by the Olaf. Working towards that second scuttle, so yeah, the two. I know as a jungler, double scuttle crab this early. The early game feels so good. There's tons of e extra XP and just getting all that mana really back as well. And I can't believe so many teams are giving uh, Black Bazaar his uh, trademark Olaf. He's been playing it for like a couple seasons. Yeah, he's, he's been up and on. I mean, I think mm -hmm. almost every game he's gotten so far, he's been able to get a level 5 uh, solo dragon. Yeah. Really good job doing, just doing Olaf things, really. So the back did come in from GM Pod. He backs with uh, a second Doran's Blade. So a little bit of advantage there in the top lane just because Michael hasn't been back. 
down a little bit in CS. Back in the mid lane. Yeah, back in the way, that's hard. That's yeah. shoved in. That's, that's kind of odd, but. It feels pretty bad. Yeah. I just had no mana, but we still have to help. Yeah, I don't understand the back here. must have played it. Oh, there's tons of damage coming out from the game. Oh. Get the flash, proc in the Braum passive. It's gonna be another kill. Yeah, the is. Miss Fortune trying to get the outplay, but. Oh, hit, hit oh. the passive there, but they don't have vision. They don't know what she's running away from. Yeah, they don't know where the Warwick is on the map. And plus, there's a pretty fat wave there that Kegma wanted to farm. Yeah, but Olaf's gonna be able to hear him. Should be able to transition this into a drag. first dragon. Yeah, especially because Warwick's on the side of the map. But it's only an Earth Drag, it's not too bad to use. So, he's 3 for 3 on Olaf uh, getting this uh, dragon. But Lissandra did throw him down just to press him down. Playing as Olaf, you're gonna you really want to be a uh, plan for your objectives because you do drags better than any other jungler in the game, other than maybe Vi. But uh, playing Vi with Olaf. Uh, so Saunders down seven CS right now. Um, definitely so far doesn't look like he's as comfortable on uh, on the Sandra as he is on his other teams. Yeah. Okay, getting the recall cancelled there. Trying to get all in on the Mordekaiser. It's the ult there. Mordekaiser gets the ult. Big shield. Oh, Tons yeah. of damage. I think that's just a dead ribbon. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the Q. Oh, and then the passive and the auto. I'm just killing. Yeah. The Conqueror is really good. Vision, trying to get an eye on where the Warwick is. And Braum and Tristan are rotating to this blue buff, maybe trying to steal it away from the ward. Oh, no, they're going to back off of it. Yeah. He might try to uh, see when the Warwick goes down for the blue and try to go. Yeah, they do have the, uh, the Braum uh, warded up pretty good. CS wise, it's pretty even across the map, except you see a huge gap in the jungle. Yeah. 22 CS gap, that's pretty massive. Tons of XP differential there. Yeah. Warwick also opted for the team map instead of going for the uh, upgrade jungle item. Got a two, two level lead there for the. Lissandra yeah. also opted for the double Dorans too. Olaf's going for the invade for the uh, enemy team's red. This team's gonna do nice. That much more XP from this Warwick. Yeah. I must like to be this Warwick. Just over there, get on. Looks like they're gonna run into yeah. each other here in the jungle on the Raptor. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's just a sweet jungle. Burns flash gets the kill. Go to burn flash because he missed the missed the eggs. Yeah, well, even the even the Warwick uh, had to flash there as well. Oh. Talk a little louder. All right. Well, then you have to turn it down for Connor. Because yeah, I think I, 
I know Connor has to do that. Now we're gonna have the Braum ultimate get burned there. Uh, Ghana shield's gonna keep him safe. This ribbon's very, very low. And the Olaf is gonna pick up the first Herald of the game. Ten minutes in. Yeah, this Riven's gonna have to back up here and uh, probably, probably just gonna see his blades here. here. They'll probably give up first tower. Feels bad. First tower at 10 minutes into the game. Yeah. I'm just playing this slow. I'm just playing the macro. I'm gonna kill him again. There is first tower going over to this Mordekaiser. He's already pretty strong. Has the Bramble Vest uh, made right now, so all that, all those autos are just gonna really be hurt in this ribbon. Yeah. Mordekaiser getting the reset is going to come back to lane with a stinger as well. So we're going to have some attack speed. Mordekaiser's going mid because he's he waves to push down on the top side. You guys try to get ready for this uh, dry that's about to stop. Let's put Might be trying to collapse. Oh, no, they're not going to collapse. Are smart. Back off. Yep. Right, this is gonna be an ocean drake. Brody. Yeah, they, they, all, that. all five members are here, but I don't know if they're gonna try to force no. a fight or not. I think they just leave. Yeah, they have some fight here. Are they trying to go for it? Oh, a big oh, ulti that's from a Misfortune. Big misfortune ult. Oh. Oh. So right there. That was a really good misfortune to turn the whole fight. Isn't that trade? It's gonna be a clean ace for this out of ECPI. Yeah, well, two for, five. two for five, not clean, but it is gonna be an ace there. The side of, side of ODU is able to pick up the, the drag. Drake, though, so they do have, you know, still have an, an early uh, Dragon Soul win condition on the board. It's gonna be a cloud, cloud Dragon map. Oh, he's he going for the. Uh, oh, he, he gets his ult off, though, so yeah, he's got him in yeah. the Delph Realm. He picks up that kill. Uh, he's, trying, he's trying to look for more, but the Warwick's just going to walk away. That's a lot of damage on the Warwick. I feel like a good little trade back. You know, mm -hmm. So really makes you know, like it a three for five. for five there. I still don't think that's worth it for a uh, Ocean Drag. It gives them early, uh, early soul, but if they don't get that soul, it's kind of a... Yeah, it's a... Kind of, kind of yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that obviously goes a lot better if the misfortune doesn't hit that clean of an ult. Yeah. Because she was sitting there like hitting like four members, and they were just kind of all like sitting in there like soaking it up. Because I think it was Andre Yeah, it was, it was a really good combo there by yeah. the side of ECPI. Mm -hmm. That's one of the fights that ODU wants to really look out for and try not to be in. But that really gets their misfortune going. Because now she has one kill and three assists. She has her essence reaver. She just got a free boot. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of big first items coming through. Uh, both AD carries uh, going essence reaver. Yeah. Uh, first, the storm razor on the Tristana, as well as Protobelt is coming through for the Lissandra. Uh, both junglers have their jungle items completed. So just uh, some decent items coming through. Just going out there playing Vision. Skullcloth running through with uh, Cloud Drake is super scary. He's already fast. He's super fast dude. Yeah. So even though that ace is half open, he's got another fight. Yeah. There we go. That's a clean fight. I'm just going to back off. So even though that ace happening on the side of ECPI, uh, ODU still does have that 2k gold and gold damage. So we're going to have a decent lead. This Riven's going to be recalling in a bot. I don't know cancels the recall. 
other guys are gonna get a decent amount of damage on me. Not power as well here. Yeah. It's looking like he's one to die, maybe. The Olaf is showing up. He's gonna spot it out on his control. So he's gonna pick up the bottom tower. Yeah, it's, it's just forcing this Rifkin to back off. He's 20 CS down. It's not very good for him. There you go. Is two towers to none. This mid tower might fall. I don't know if the ROM is gonna be able to hold. No, not at all. This is a good tower, I think. Oh, wait. Clear out these minions. Alright, so yeah. the tower's gonna stay up. The Helios with Flamethrower can just melt through waves. ROM and Mordecai are gonna show up. Probably looking to knock down this tier one in the mid lane. Really open up the map. They can get this one down. They've got the wave to do it. Four members, the Tristan is there with the blank as well. Riven's bot side, Lissandra's grown up. Yeah, this mid tower should fall. Yeah, that's a good mid tower. Lissandra's kind of looks for a blank. Oh, she's gonna get the blank on. Yeah, gonna come in after the Morgana had already, already been yeah. dropped there. And he's gonna have to burn flash. Oh, he also got Mordecai's ulti, but that doesn't really matter. Mordecai's just standing a little bit. But, ooh. That's gonna be a miss ultimate on the floor. Well, gonna Most fortunate coming gonna, out. Gonna drop the ribbon, so three for zero there, and just gonna allow tower. them to pick up maybe a tier two in the and then rift. Well. Yeah, they have the option to rift, and then uh, dragon yeah. should be spawning, you know, in under yeah. thirty seconds. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just kind of setting the Warwick more and more behind. Yep. Absolutely, yeah, they're really, really good decision making by the side of ODU there. Mm -hmm. Popping off. Yeah. Ping's coming down onto the dragon. Looks like the side of ECPI is going to get, get there, there first. first. But everyone else is going to be coming in. Actually, if they start it right now, they might be able to burn it. Yeah. But Olaf's going really fast. Ping's called Drake map, yeah. yeah. You never know. The, the third uh, Drake getting more, more HP. Is really more now, Misfortune ult still down. A lot of big ultimates are down, so the Wombo combo is not really. No, they have to give it. Be able to force him off the Drake here. Oh, uh, they're giving up the strongest dragon game. All right, that's gonna be three Dragon Souls at 17 minutes. We can we can see a Dragon Soul at what? What is it? 22 minutes potentially. Yeah. Just like actually, just like last game, they got the 22 minute Soul and transition that into a Baron immediately. So. They're playing around the objectives so well. Like you said, Olaf is all about playing around those objectives. Yeah. They're yeah. doing a great job of that. They're able to get this late Rift Herald too. You know, it's going to be so strong oh. later. Yeah. Are they going to contest? Or? This looks like it's a 5v4. Oh. Mordecai's yeah. does. Oh, doesn't have TP. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good misfortune ult. Going in, we got the Abelios. Uh, him going Stana. in for the old, which is trying to go in from the back line. Doesn't the get the second oh. reset on, on the W though, but he's uh, gonna be able to pick up some kills. That's... But oh, this Ola. Olaf's just popping up, and, pops and, and, and then that more, 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 uh, Mordecai is just gonna be able to push this tier two yeah. in the bot lane. That was crazy. Olaf just the one to keep him. He did not kill. Olaf just has so much healing on his W. He gets fed just like. The, the previous game, you know, he gets fed early, so with all that healing and being ahead, he's just able to yeah. run through him, really. Well, it's like the strongest jungler in the game right now. Because you can just do whatever you want on the map early. Yeah, he's not, it's like the entire jungle is, is yours. If you want to mm -hmm. invade, you can just go ahead and do it. There's only a there's very few champions I can contest here. I think there's like Trundle and like maybe Elise if you like uh, get them off early. Oh, that's a dead Warwick, maybe? Okay. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, he's getting greedy for that. He wants that. This, this Michael's is... getting greedy out here. Trying to go for the 1v3 outplay. He gets the, he gets oh, the, he gets the, the Brahms here. That's a dead uh, Organa. And now they're going to get the Lissandra. No, oh, no. Well, he's going back in. Oh, Mordekaiser shields that. Oh, put the Lissandra on the Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser kills the Mordekaiser. Kills the Mordekaiser. They get the stun off on the uh, Riven. Come and get it. Yep, that should be game. Yeah, we're gonna be able to drop the Rift Herald here. Oh, Olaf's in the mid lane. Yeah. With Tristan and, and 
and uh, demolish and just gonna burn through his base. Yeah. No, we can't really do anything to defend against this. So they have three people up there. They might be able to stop after being on him. But the, oh, the Olaf's getting the uh, yeah, mid. Yep. So then they can just keep on pressuring bot side while the Olaf pressures mid. Oh, they're going to get the TP out. Michael coming in with the TP. Oh, the Warwick's oh. getting out with the hit. Not a missed all. Yeah. Yep, now they're gonna. Yeah. You gotta be greedy to get both end hits. And now they're gonna try to go for the end. They should be good. One Nexus Tower falls. Phoenix Fire is gonna fall. Oh, Miss Fortune gets ulted by the Mordekaiser under under tower though. Oh, these look like we gotta make the finals. They're gonna drop the second Nexus Tower and they're just gonna move on to the Nexus. Yeah. Red Roof's trying all he can, but Riven Riven gets got a kill on the Helios, but kill. it's just not enough to stop. Oh, are, they, are they gonna get the Tristana? They got the Tristana. I still love you leaves the game. Looks like that's gonna be it. We're gonna see ODU versus Team Kaisa in the finals. A rematch of, I wanna say the quarterfinals or the yeah. semifinals from the winners. That was a really close game too. And it was, it was a very good game. Uh, ODU, I believe, actually had the lead in that game. And yep, then, and they threw it. Um, so we're going to go on to the grand finals. Uh, looking forward to see that. We should uh, make a lobby pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, ODU with the win there. Um, what are your takeaways from, from that one? Uh, it looks like they just had all three like winning lanes is what they drafted, and they had a strong objective focused jungler that could just run around the jungle, do whatever he wanted, and didn't really have to worry about ganking lanes. He could just do, dwell in his jungle and make his jungle his kingdom. Oh, yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah, really really dominant performance there. And actually, a uh, little surprised. Um, I thought that game was going to be, you know, a, a little closer. Uh, yeah, a little closer, but, like, mm -hmm. more drawn out, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't know. It's just really surprising. But, uh, you know, exciting to see, you know, uh, when a team puts every, puts all the pieces together like ODU just did, uh, get on mm -hmm. some comfort picks and just, just pop off one lane. Yep. Uh, all lanes super hard. You know, Jungle Kingdom just Running. Pop, popped off. Yeah, they keep on giving him his, his Olaf. If you're going to give him his Olaf, you're basically just surrendering the game. Gotcha. Awesome. So we – I think we're going to make lobby. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to get into the grand finals and uh, crown the champ here.